And hey, welcome to week 13. Here we're going to see the Indianapolis Colts and the Green Bay Packers. So, sit back and enjoy the show. I should win this game. I failed my last two games, but the Colts are 1 and 10. I got beat by the Buffalo Bills, who are 10 and 1. I also got beat by the Minnesota Vikings, who were in second place and took over with that last win. Although it's really not fair, the Vikings played more games than anyone else in the division. Because they haven't had their bye yet. So, here we go. Washington gets beat by Dallas. Miami beat Chicago. 49ers beat the Rams. Bengals beat the Raiders. Jets get beat by the Chargers. And here we go. game, it should put me back into first place, I'm thinking. Depending on the point difference, usually, usually my point difference is so high, but I'm not, not having that great of luck in this game. I lost three games this season. Usually when I play Techno Super 3 Final Edition, I go undefeated the entire season. There are occasional times where I lose one or two games. Failure. That was a cheat. There's no way a player can dive and completely miss his target. chance of trying to wipe your butt and accidentally wiping your head. Okay, so I'm getting beat by the second most team in the league. I said in the last video that I don't think we've I don't know if I just seen, said we didn't. I don't think we've seen any interceptions. Or if I said interceptions or fumbles. And do recall now I did fumble. It's perfect timing for them too. days I plan on making it down to the pawn shop. I'm looking for some games. I just want to buy a bunch of games that I've that I don't have. Let's go ahead and do videos on them. I'm not putting a lot of money in my car lately. 
replacing the AC compressor tomorrow. It was 65 degrees outside today. And felt like it was about 90 inside the car. How could you not catch that? Looks like you just stood there and watched it go right past him. football game, I would make it where you could switch to control the coach on the sidelines and you can like smack the boards over players' heads and push them off the bench and stuff like that. It adds some humor to the game and also helps get off some frustration when you're mad at your players. Kind of like the game Arch Rivals, you can sit there and it's a basketball game. You can sit there and punch the other players. It's kind of funny. I actually forgot about the game until I seen it on someone else's YouTube channel. Oh. That was nasty. There's no way he could throw a complete pass when he's got like four guys on top of him knocking him to the ground. I guess he figured mostly kids were going to be playing this game and didn't realize and kids aren't going to realize that the game's cheating. I wonder why I don't remember a whole lot about this game when I was younger. I wasn't missing much. because I was amazed that they had the Packers in the game. I don't think I've played it that much, though. <coughs> now, the next football game we're going to see, Tecmo Super Bowl on the Super Nintendo, I remember playing that game quite a bit. 
Tecmo Super Bowl 2 Special Edition? I didn't even know that game existed until like a year ago. Okay, so it's halftime. We're getting beat by the second worst team in the league. It's another typical day in Tecmo Land. Take the flutes out of those band members' hands and just start smacking my players in the head with them. Super Bowl Special Edition is the most expensive game that I've got. I paid 42 bucks for it. Most of the video games I got on my channel, YouTube channel, were between like anywhere between two to ten bucks. I think North and South I think was like twenty bucks. Most of the games are pretty cheap. And I guess Tecmo Super Bowl Special Edition was a rare game. It doesn't surprise me because it was made in nine, uh, January of 95. It was released October of 95. They released Tecmo Super Bowl 3. So they only had like 10 months in between those two games. They probably really didn't produce that many. Next three technical games are going to have Reggie White in them. One of the best defensemen on the team. I wonder what they're trying to figure out which one they'd go for. Oh, fool. I hope I could score another touchdown here and get a little cushion. doing running plays in this game because they fumble, players fumble so much.
Start to get a little more confident, but I wouldn't put it past him to score twice. You know, probably see me fumble and interception and all that good stuff. I guess I should say all that bad stuff. Is it kicked off from the 20? I never even really, all these games I've been playing, I never even noticed what line they normally kick it off. I think at one time it was 35, now it's 30. Maybe it might be the other way around though. You now, Tecmo Super Bowl 3 Final Edition is kind of like this too. Usually, if you're ahead going into the fourth quarter, People just start scoring tons of touchdowns, really burying them. I mean, you score all these points. <clears throat> you score all these points when you don't really need them. You're already up. See, like there, I just, after that touchdown, I end up getting a safety. And even quicker. See how the oh Wilson's you're out of there. This condition's bad. Kemp is excellent. See Technical Super Bowl 3 final edition, I'm usually checking these players like every quarter. I'm gonna make sure I got my top guys in there. Everybody is covered. <coughs> okay, let's see how far of a field goal Jack can kick. Oh, that's going to miss. It's going to be way off to the right. See, you really don't have much time because you spend time trying to line up the arrow. They're going to get in there and lock the kicker and take your kicker up before he even snaps the ball. That's why whenever I'm kicking I just press it right away and hope that it's in the middle. I don't know ten times seems to work. seconds left on the clock though. It's 26 to 14. Finally won a game. <laughs> Look at my rushing. Four attempts, seven yards. That is nasty. They had nine attempts for 100 yards, which is pretty good. So it's first down every run. Bentley had eight of those for rushes. 
Passing Anthony Dill with 70%, Jeff George only had 37%. Passing yards, I crushed him between 90 and 92. We have total yards. This game, it's kind of weird they don't have the total yards in this game. They just got the rushing yards and passing yards. Okay, so we're going to skip to the end of week 13. Houston beats Pittsburgh. Giants beat the Buccaneers. Philadelphia beats Phoenix. Detroit gets beat by Minnesota. Cle oh, that's not good. Cleveland beats Kansas City. Saints get beat by the Falcons. So it looks like I'm still going to be in second place. Let's check out the schedule. When is week 14? Is that that must be when Minnesota finally has their bye? There's only two teams that don't have a bye yet. Yeah, it looks like Minnesota is one of them. Not sure who the other team is. Take a look at the standings of them. Buffalo lost the game, so they're 10 and 2. Miami's catching up now, 8 and 4. So we got week 14, week 15, week 16, week 17. We still got four games left. So. Miami could easily take over the division yet. Central Houston's up by two games. Pittsburgh completely right behind them. Cleveland's right behind them. Cincinnati finally got a win. Let's see who they beat. I'm surprised it wasn't me. Week 13 they played against the Raiders. Whoops. And the Raiders dropped. So now we get San Diego 7 5. All the rest of the teams are 6 and 6. So it looks like San Diego won, Denver won, and the other three teams all lost. Because last week they were all 6 and 5, except for Denver was 5 and 6. So this is anybody's division right here. See, like, at the end of next week, you could. See Seattle in first place and San Diego in last place. San Diego's actually got minus three points for totals. Denver's on the plus side. Kansas City and the LA Raiders all on the plus side for points. Seattle's also minus. Giants 10 and 2. Dallas 6 5 and 1. So the Giants are still up by three and a half games. Four games zero. So pretty sure if the Giants win one more game. Yeah, if the Giants win one more game or if Dallas loses one more game, the Giants have the division plunge. Washington, Philadelphia. Phoenix. They're all kind of. Looks weird. 5-6-1, five, 5-7, and 5-8. Five, and five, and so Phoenix is the other team that didn't have their bye week yet. Central, we got the Vikings still in first place, 9-4. And, and the point differential. Play about. Pretty close. I'm only like four. I only got like plus four over the Vikings. So I got like plus 70 points. They got like, what is it, 60? 66? So if I win the next game, that'll put me over the back in first place. I got the Bears. 6-6, six six, Lions 4-8, and, and the Buccaneers 2-10. 49ers 8-4, Saints, Rams both 7-5, Falcons 3-9. So, tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and do week 14. We're going to see two games tomorrow. Or, I should say in that week. We might see the rest of the, actually we might see the rest of the season, regular season games tomorrow. But week 14 we're going to see Kansas City and Seattle. 
and then we're also going to see the Packers and the Falcons. Now, I shouldn't have any problem beating the Falcons, but you never know in this game. Week 15, we're going to see me play against the Bears. We won't see any games during Week 16. We will see one game in Week 17, Phoenix against New Orleans. The Cardinals and the Saints, and that will be the last regular season game we're going to see. Then we'll jump into the playoffs. So, hope you enjoyed the game. I'll see you in the next video, which will probably be tomorrow.